Hi everybody, it's your old pal Chuck, and I am back with another review. And today, we are taking a look at the 2016 Wave 1 Combiner Wars Legends figures. And really a hotly desired popular figure, Pipes. No, I'm kidding. It's actually Titan's Return Buzzsaw. Yes, this is a figure for the 2017 line that is actually being released now. I guess they had a slot to fill for the Combiner Wars. This is a little teaser for the 2017 Titans Return, formerly Titan Wars, um, line. So here it is. Um, this is in its, um, you know, bird mode. So basically, the fact that we have Buzzsaw means we are getting a laser beak, which means we're all, and that will be coming with Soundwave, who will probably be a repaint of Blaster, um, who we just saw at, like, um, the last uh, Comic-Con or something like that, or, you know, I don't think we've had the toy for you. Uh, it, it's just, you, you know... <laughs> It, all this is not even happening to next year, and people are getting excited. But here's Buzzsaw. Um, very nice Condor mode. Um, it is not a cassette. It is either a um, data disc of some sort or a takeoff of a uh, iPod, tablet. You know, we'll see it in its uh, disc mode, what it can do. Um but it actually has three modes. So I think for the first mode, we'll go to its vehicle mode. So what you want to go ahead and do is fold the wings in. Now, I do want to mention on mine, those little gray wings, one can stick out further than another. But there is a fixed locking point, and I can't adjust it. I'm not showing it to you because it's one of those things that once you see it, you can't unsee it. So you'll thank me later. So the next what you want to do is straighten out the buzzsaw's head. Go ahead, and you're going to rotate this underneath. There is a slot in the neck that will peg right here. So you got that out of the way. Go ahead and rotate these wings down. And then what next step, you want to come in and rotate these black panels down, revealing some wheels. And these are rolling wheels. So they're a little pegged on, but they are there. Next, what you can go ahead and do, come back, um, fold down that rear section while rotating this forward and out. But first, what you want to do is go ahead and actually rotate this forward because there's a black hinge here. You can only fold that section up when the hinge is facing up. So then you want to fold that up and then rotate it out so the spikes are facing forward thus allowing you to come in and close up the uh, what were the wings and are now the treads for this little armored tank car mode. Um, now, the one thing I want to point out to you, very slight, I don't know if you can see it here, right where my finger is, is a little peg. That is where the little Titan Masters, a.k.a. Headmasters, are going to be able to peg into so they can ride on this. It's a little go-kart of sorts. I, I really don't know what else to call it. So there's that mode. Next step is we can go into the data disk mode. So you just go ahead and open up the side panels again. Go ahead, flip up the wheels, just like so. Rotate uh, the wings side sections down. So you have these little slots here on the side. Go ahead, flip up the, uh, what were the uh, buzzsaw's feet, if you haven't already. Fix points, so that's as far as they can go. Um, go ahead, rotate the, um, what were the, the front of the vehicle mode down and around, so it's out like that. You want the uh, black hinges facing up, and then uh, go ahead, just close everything up. The um, sides will fit thread through. Everything pegs together quite nicely, and you get this data disk tablet thing. Really like the nice Decepticon logo. This is all sticker, by the way, so be careful. I've had it oh, start to roll up on me a little, but you got the Decepticon logo there. Camera icon. Looks like a little uh, 
uh, file, document, icon, text messaging, mail, battery. So that's why I think it's more like a mini iPod. And you even have a little port here to plug a headset in. I tried using Apple earbuds. Uh, it did not go in all the way. The feet now on the side, they've actually made like volume controls, the play, pause. Those are on both sides. So yeah. Now, as we've seen from Blaster, the way this is going to work is um, he'll slide in on an angle because these are a little bit bigger than the tape. But it's kind of cool uh, for what it is. Um, the transformation isn't that difficult. So, and it's really nothing much you can do with it now since there aren't any uh, Titan Masters available. I really don't know what more I can say about Buzzsaw. Um, it's not that I'm not excited for the figure. It's just that part of its uh, play value is interacting with the Titan Masters and, you know, Blaster and the eventual sound wave. Um, you know, I mean, figuring the Blaster's Wave 1, Soundwave, if it's released, if it's coming, I, I just want to say that there's no... I, I, before I sounded like there was a certain thing, nothing is certain. But if that figure is coming, probably won't be for another year and a half. So to release this guy this early, a little confusing. Um, you know, it's great that it's a legend-sized triple changer. Um, you know, the steps between um, data pad and uh, tank mode are enough that it's like involved that it does break make it look a little bit different it's not just you know flipping wheels down out of the data pad it's you know you have to alter the transformation enough i do like this new take on the uh, condor flying design but let's be honest at this point everything is pretty much redundant with masterpiece sound wave and the the masterpiece cassettes in the world um, I got this figure off of Hasbro Toy Shop. They are in stock now. I think if you're looking for a last-minute stocking stuffer, definitely worth a pickup. Um, but if you're looking for one to pass on, uh, besides pipes, uh, I'd have to say it's Buzzsaw because there just really isn't anything for it to go with right now. This is your old pal Chuck for Buzzsaw. We'll see you next time.